Welcome, second episode today, I haven't done this in a long time, welcome to the Art of Relationship Show, I have another awesome show for you with Dennis Mercas, who is phenomenal at teaching couples massage for each one. Now, don't be selfish out there, right? Oh, I get massage, but do you give massages as well? And as people following me, listening to the show, I'm huge on touch and the intimacy, the soulfulness that touch brings. So we're going to learn a lot of information from Dennis and don't go anywhere. Okay. We're going to be right back right after this. We're live right now, so introduce yourself first and let people know where they can find you. And it's, um, I have it all over the place too, your links sure. and everything. So what you do and what, I don't want to know what you're passionate about with couples and massages. Right, right. So I teach couples how to give simple, beautiful massage techniques that they can do at home. It's awesome. really that simple. Yeah. Now, how long have you been doing this? Mate, I've been doing this a very long time. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, massage is all I've ever done. Right? Oh, terrific. So, out of high school, I studied acupuncture at university and then started with massage. And oh, I don't know, God. it just all organically grew this way. You know what? Um, that is phenomenal. I'm a huge advocate of acupuncture, acupressure. It's huge in, uh, you know, Eastern. Well, you're mm. in Australia. So, yeah. you know, in the Eastern philosophy, you know, Chinese uh, acupuncture, of course. Um, mm -hmm. So I give you a lot of credit. Now, do couples or people think you're, it's sort of odd or strange for what you do? Uh, I think they used to. Yeah. <laughs> but now it's been such a long time. So I started in 2006. And uh, now all these years, I think we're slowly starting to change and shift that perspective of it being a you know, 70s porn music in the background. A, a rub and tug type of thing, right? Right. Like those weirdos <laughs> that massage those couples, right? No, no, no. Where I'm, I'm starting to, I want to bring in connection. And the reason why we massage each other, I mean, sure, if you want to do it for sex, great. You can, it's, you do it in your own home by yourself. Uh, but I find there's something that happens after, you know, after the honeymoon period. There's a honeymoon period in massage as well when you're massaging your partner. Uh, get beyond hear, that. I love that. And I love, I'm huge on a mind, body, heart, and soul connection. Mm -hmm. um, even with, you know, with couples, with relationships, you know, working with couples and have for a long time. And also with, you know, sex as well. A lot of people, it's a physical. But I'd mm. love to hear your take on how you integrate the soulfulness and what do you teach couples as far as trying to integrate and um, we all heard like getting lost in the moment, but yeah. also concentrating on providing pleasure right. when you get in the massage. So how do you do that? You know, it's actually my audience is teaching me this, you know. I, oh. So when I first, and, and I'll, we'll talk about it, but when I first started, it was, I was in my mid-20s and it was all about sex, you know. Uh, the whole reason I did this was because I wanted to land the girl because she wouldn't come up for coffee. You know, uh, and I'm like, I sat down with myself. I'm like, well, how do I impress this girl? How do I separate myself from the rest of the boys? And right. I'm good at massage, right? This is my profession. Now, so, oh, go right ahead. I'm sorry. So I lied to her and I said, I've <laughs> written a massage course. It's for couples. I need someone to practice it on. Would you like a massage? We started dating that night. Like the, obviously the massage worked really well. Nice. And then over the years, work like I've taught fifty thousand couples now. There's more. I just, I'm oh starting to goodness. lose track. Phenomenal. And I keep talking to my audience, like, why are you guys using it? What? And I thought originally it was this is a date idea. Like Valentine's is coming up. It's around the corner. You Absolutely. should massage each other. You have Valentine's Day in Australia too. I, yeah, I think yeah, I think it's unanimous around the globe. I, I believe so. So Hallmark got a hold of all of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and 
And so couples are using it for many different reasons. I thought it was a date night thing. I was very wrong. People are using it to break down barriers. People are using Absolutely. it to connect with each other. People are using it to communicate, like non-verbal communication. I appreciate you. I love you. You know, we, I, I, I tend to, I like to research theories like, can you be angry with your partner while getting a massage? Or can you, right? Can you enjoy a massage while being angry? And so- What have you found out? It's very difficult. And some people have to be very comfortable in their own skin. Plus they have to be able to differentiate to separate that anger from being able to enjoy and also use it as a way to reconnect, right? Absolutely. I think if you're angry, the, the mind is super powerful. Oh. I think if you're angry, you just won't, you, A, you will be telling your partner, don't touch me. Absolutely. And if they are touching you, you might be just tense and guarded up all the way, just and not wanting to let go. But I have a theory that something happens in that moment that you let go. I call it the Mercus drop. There's a moment in time in your massage where your partner will drop, because we, we massage in a seated position. It's a moment in time where your partner will drop, let go, fall back into you. And this is, yeah, this is where I think oxytocin is released. This is where the beginning of connection starts. So there are things that, this is how my massage course is starting to evolve. The course has stayed the same, but the way I communicate with my audience about relationships, about their physical touch, about what they're looking for during a massage, that's changed since the beginning. And it is so uh, important, it's crucial. And I love how you brought up that, you know, people, you know, they might be angry, ticked off at each other. Yeah, yeah, I want to touch you. And they're like, eh, you, know, trying to choke, you know, yeah, I want to choke the living crap out of you, right? So it's looking at, you know, you, no problem, right? <laughs> uh, sure, there's a I'll time and a place you. for yeah, that. I <laughs> and, but I, I love how you said about, you know, some people, it, it's a way to, you know, they could be shy. They could be um, maybe a little trauma. You know, yeah. I, trauma. I worked with a lot of trauma and being touched again, especially, you know, I've worked with a lot of, I used to work with kids and teens, you know, sexual assault, trauma, rape, and looking at, a way to be touched again in a self way in a non intrusive way. And I love how you said you can just, you know, you introduce massage, and it is just, a, it's a great way to reconnect not only feeling safe with somebody else, but it's also feeling safe within yourself. I love that you brought that up. I think, and especially like, let's stick with trauma for a moment. Uh, some of my audience have told me that they use massage and because we sit, you've seen the movie ghost. Yeah. Oh, with we Patrick are. Swayze. Yeah, yeah the pottery, the, <laughs> the pottery scene. Exactly. Yes. So we massage in that position. I didn't want to, oh. I didn't want to massage the way I massage at work with my partner. No. I wanted to massage in a more intimate way that's connecting with my partner. So we massage that way. And I've had people that are dealing with trauma say, we like that there's no eye to eye contact. There's the ability for me to be in my own space, enjoy the touch and allow my partner in at my own terms. To, um, soak, to soak it in. And I love that. And you mentioned the, you know, the no eye contact. It, it's um, ironic in a way, you know, a lot of couples and I talk about, you know, are you able to look into each other's eyes during sex? And mm -hmm. I'm not talking, you know, breaking your neck, you know, <laughs> if you're doing that. But um, looking at the intrusiveness or you have to be very comfortable, confident and feel safe to be able to do that. Some people Greg. can't. And I love how you brought that up, that it's a again, it's a safe way, non intrusive way that you can like the ghost scene that you can touch and bring and not worry about that deep, intimate emotional contact until you're ready until, you feel until safe. you're ready. I love it. But I mean, how hard is it to look in the mirror and make eye contact with yourself? Like, it's tough. Do it's you, hard. Do you, see, do you see this face? And you want me to make eye contact with? <laughs> oh, you're a beautiful man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh, I look at you, Australian. All the uh, all the ladies are woohoo. No, <laughs> but it, it's uh, yeah. Look at you're right. It, it's very uh, intimidating for a lot of people. 
So I love your philosophy. Where is a great spot that you, you start with couples? Where, where's the beginning or a suggested beginning mm. phase that you work with couples? That's such a good question. I love it. So I have a technique called contouring. And all it is, is using your entire hand. Because most of us will pinch, right? Right here, right? Right, where if you can use your entire hand, it just, I mean, you get to explore your partner's lines, explore their curves. It's totally relaxing. It's non-invasive. It's not like I go in and massage my partner like I'm a jackhammer. I think the issue is, is that when we go and get a massage from a professional, we remember that the good bits are the ones where they've gone in really deep, like right here. The deep tish, the knots and the... Oh. Right. And they are, they are good, right? They yes. feel amazing. But the problem is we don't realize that the massage practitioner has spent time warming up the muscle, relaxing us first, finding trust, and then they go in deep. And I find that most couples just attack straight away. And what does so, that typically do? Attacking straight away? To the recipient of the massage. Oh. What does that do? I tense up. Like, that's the whole point. It's like, I tense up. It's like, I don't trust what you're doing, first of all. It doesn't feel great, second of all. I don't want to be in this space. I might run away from you, right? And what makes it even worse is that now my job as the person that's massaging you is 10 times harder because i got to get you to relax first. And what we end up doing is we start smashing that muscle even harder and it's game over, right? And I, I love your philosophy. And not only that, the, um, the theories, you know, you have behind your work and the relaxation and how much is the, that you get into being able to breathe through the anxiety, if you will, or the discomfort before you're able to relax and start feeling safe. Because not only the recipient, right, but how many times have you talked with people, the giver of the, I, I use that word, I don't know, the giver sure. of, yeah. the massage, uh, you know, of the massage, oh, I, 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 I got to make sure if I do it wrong, if I do it right, that almost performance anxiety about am I going to do it wrong, am I, am I too hard, too soft, do I yeah. feel awkward, do I feel uncomfortable, cumbersome, and, and then feed back and forth between the giver and the recipient, of course. I mean, communication is important, right? And it depends on how long you've been with your partner. Some, yeah. it, so before I filmed Melt, I taught this in live workshops for eight years. And you could see how couples would respond to each other. Some partners, some receivers would be militant. Not like that. Do it like this. You know? <laughs> or you're not pushing hard enough. Or you don't... And, some people would be meek and quiet about it and yes. their approach. It comes down to how well you can express yourself with your partner, how comfortable you are. Being too militant, I mean, I used to always pull people up during a, a, a live workshops and just say, look, you know, just relax, take it easy. We don't need to tell them exactly what to do. But positive, constructive feedback is Absolutely. fantastic. It's funny, one of those things, you know, you talk about, and you know, even with couples, right? Don't yell, I'm not going to, you know, and they, yeah. they, you know, that reflective response, that defensiveness. Yeah. And when, you know, with massage, just relax. I can't, you know, <laughs> and it, it, it's like, I'm trying, you know. <laughs> what, what is a way that you try to help the, both people, the recipient and giver, how, what do you suggest them to relax, to help them just the center and relax and put everything out of their mind, if you will, except yeah. for enjoying. Um, and it's not only the receiver that enjoys uh, the sound, oh, yeah. the giver, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So in regards to the, the helping them relax, oh my God, Wait. this is so easy. Just tell them, hey, I got you. Relax. <laughs> Drop your shoulders on this stroke that I'm coming, come, uh, I'm coming down your arms. I Drop your that. shoulders. I'm going to hug you. Let's relax together. Oh, I, you know what? I love that because a lot, oh, just relax. I am. Drop your shoulders. They are, you know. Well, like, I mean, it's it, it, that exhale. Yeah, it, it, it changes when your partner puts your hands on it. I think when we, there are some people, and there's always an exception to the rule. There are some people that are just constantly guarded and they won't ever let go, right? 
Uh, but most of us, the general population, once you put your hands on their shoulders, and even if you take a moment, like I, I might, let's say if I was massaging you, for instance, put my hands on your body first, even in a professional setting, and just center myself and ground myself and have maybe a second or two where I'm telling you, I've got you through my hands. And that's enough to make people just go, all right, I'm settling into the mood. If your massage is frantic, if it's busy, if it's all over the place, if it's unstructured, yes. you're going to make a negative effect. So you're going to tense up again. You know, I, the way I teach is very structured, very organized. We apply oil the same way every single time. I think the beginning of your massage will make or break your massage. Like the beginning of the massage yes. will totally help your partner relax into it straight away. Or it might put them up guarded. No, and I, I, I love that. And what is one format that you use? And I love, even with couples, and it's about being, you know, not intrusive, but also I even ask couples, you know, when was the last time, if you ever did, just feel each other's heartbeat? Yeah, right. And just wow. center. And it, it causes couples, it's funny, they've never done it. A lot of people mm -hmm. have never they've never done it or they feel uncomfortable. It's like, then just feel each other's heart and breath, just breathe and how much that relaxes and you can connect on that level. And, and Do you think that happens because we're so busy that life gets in the way that we don't, we don't think about doing these things together? No, not at all. What is one thing that, um, well, there's a lot of things, let's face it. What do you, what feedback do you receive from your couples and your students? Oh, I love and it. This is so they, much. After they go through it, as far as what they learn about themselves, if anything, mm. what, what feedback do you get when they engage in your courses? I have this, I have this story. Uh, back in the, before the pandemic, there was live workshops, right? Yes. Uh, I had this guy walk in and he was massive, massive. Like big burly guy walks in, walks straight up to me in my face. And he's like, I'm missing the football because of this. And uh, after the two hour class, a very short class, he pulls me up and his wife's like, he's never touched, well, hasn't touched me like that in such a long time. He's like, give me business cards. Everyone at the fire station needs to come and do this. Who cares about the football? I just had the most amazing. And I think, like I was just doing a YouTube video just before I come on with you. And the ending of the YouTube video is my opinion with couples massage is that connection yes. is more important than technique. But the better your technique, the bigger your connection comes. So don't worry about so much about how good your massage is or not. Try, start, find connection. And the more you do it, the bigger the connection will be. I agree with that wholeheartedly, big, big time. I mean, from, you know, working with couples um, for many years, since tell people since I was five years old, I've been doing this for over two decades. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm old. So, <laughs> so, I get it. The penny just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be America. Yeah, American humor versus. No, no, no. no just, I'm the same. I started massage yeah. when I was five, too. Yeah. <laughs> Two decades as well. Of being uh, well yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's funny because not only that, do you find how are you try to integrate different ages, age categories? Mm. Like early twenties might be more receptive. It's sort of cool, but then as you get into fifties, sixties, do you find that the older gen? I got to be careful when I say the more mature population. Yeah. Do you find that you are reaching them as well, that you are, and it, it, it's hard, right? We're stuck in our ways type of thing, the stereotypical. Yeah. Do you find that they are more open to it or they're becoming more open to touching each other again? So the empty nesters uh, are my early adopters. They're the ones that made melts, got it kickstarted, right? Awesome. Right. Really? Yeah. So in the beginning, it, the market was all 35 plus and more so 45 plus. Oh. And then check this out. So in the live workshops, what happened was that the empty nesters would then buy their children and their partners 
uh, vouchers to come to my workshops. And often the parents and the children will come together. The children are like 20, tw early 20s, well, 18s. Right. That's sort of creepy, isn't it? No, <laughs> I like it. I like that you said that. Like, uh, <laughs> you'd think, no, you'd think, but the uh, group dynamic, the group, like teaching couples massage in a group dynamic, because uh, you've seen the videos, we're all dressed, no one gets naked. Right. It's my, my whole motto is uh, it's no nudity, no awkwardness, you know, just good, clean massage techniques. Yes. What you do in your own bedroom, what do you do in your own living room by yourself? Go nuts, you know? Yeah. Uh, but in the live workshop, it's actually really good. And the more couples we have, I used to max out, yeah, I used to max out uh, 50 couples per workshop. Oh my goodness. And the energy was incredible. And Everybody, this was- Do you find that the energy just sort of it sort of evolves and circumvents the whole group and it just, everybody just sort of feeds off of that. Do you find that in your group? Dude, in the group sessions, all I need is to connect with one person. Let's say if you were there yes. with your personality, I reckon I'd, you and I would connect <laughs> and oh. you'd be laughing at my jokes. I have the usual icebreakers that I throw out that are pretty funny. Yeah. Um, and all I need is one person to laugh and the rest of the crew, by the end of it, is always like a standing ovation. I mean, at the end of the two hour workshop, you're having so much fun with your partner. People are walking out, they, they walk in timid and shy, right? They're a little bit yes. fanned up. They walk out kissing, holding hands, oh. like almost everyone walks out holding hands. And I love, and that's what it's all about. And I love that because we're so maybe used to, you look at as a parent, right? And you know, or if there's parent, you know, parents out there, and I'm, I mean, you, you know, empty nesters, right? And yep. it's ironic how we're so used to, we hold the baby, we, we caress, we comfort, we soothe, but we get away from the importance of touch yeah. and how that is. And I love how, and it's ironic how the empty nesters, they can sort of maybe by giving the vouchers, you know, to your courses, I love it, that they mm. can and re-engage the importance of touch again. Yeah, they're and instilling touch. values. Oh, yeah. Man. I'm huge on touch. I, I love, it's very therapeutic. It's very soulful. It's a way to connect without saying anything. Yeah, so it's a great way to, to, to provide reassurance, to create safety, to build trust. I, I think I, I'm a big toucher. Like I'll touch elbows, shoulders when I'm chatting to you. There's always a hand reaching out. Exactly. Yeah. You got you, that got to Australia, the fist bump. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much whatever happens in America, it comes I, over here. It's funny. You watch, um, you know, different TV shows, you know, and it's ironic, you know, watch uh, glitch, you know, which is in Australia and a mm -hmm. few other ones. And uh, it's funny, France and all that. You see everybody fist bump, you know, yeah. and it, it's it's cool. Yeah, now, it's great. What is what is the most difficult that you've run into as far as people trying to connect and massage one another? Oh, yeah, that's a really good question. I think the most difficult is that communication thing. Is like when someone's telling their partner what they should be doing rather than letting the partner, you know, it's like not there, there. No, you're doing it wrong. Not, not like this. It's just, it's grating and it's hard to, um, it's hard to pull that person back in and just say, listen, you need to, you need to be positive about the, the feedback that you're giving. Um, I think I that's, that. that's the hardest for me to palate. Everything else is, and there are some people that just are not into touch, uh, there are some some people where massage is not for them, and I get that. I mean, this is what makes us human, and this is what makes us beautiful because we all have different tastes. Unique, absolutely. Mm. Um, so that's tough. It's like trying to teach someone that doesn't want to be taught. For me, is tough. It, it's very difficult, and I, I've learned a long time ago. Uh, we get we'll say people, you know, Greg, I'm 50 years old. I'm not going to change, and I'll say you're absolutely right. Yeah, well, but they've made the decision, haven't they? So, and yeah. I love that. And it, it's hard when people are say they've never they grew up in an environment they've never been to, they they haven't been touched. It wasn't affectionate. It's foreign to them. Mm. And it, it's so um, 
awakening for people to start learning that the safety behind touch and to start, you know, number one, it's okay. Number mm -hmm. two, it can feel good and that's okay. But the biggest thing I find, and I don't know if you run into this as well, when I work, you know, with couples, you know, with touching and different exercises to be able to look at that you feel safe and it's okay to enjoy it. But the biggest issue is they don't want to enjoy it. They don't want to do feel... They don't want to feel that vulnerability. They don't right. want to feel, you know, open. And mm -hmm. I think that's okay, but you can still have power and command respect over you that you can enjoy that. And it's okay. I think the vulnerability thing, I was on a, I did a, uh, a little piece with a counselor yesterday, a video piece, just like what we're doing now, awesome. all about vulnerability. I think that's a big thing. It's like, we don't, we don't want to feel like, you know, we the fear of putting ourselves out and maybe being rejected. Do you find that, like, especially with massage and with couples, it comes back down to, again, you know, the receiver. Do you find or think or maybe, you know, thought about the receiver, I was saying, do it this way, it's too hard, too soft, whatever. Mm -hmm. Do you find it's more of an emotional sense of lack of safety for them that they don't want to open up. They want to try to be in that control. So no one hurts them, makes them feel open. Do you find that out? I think so. I haven't really talked to my audience enough about it, but maybe okay. it might be something to chat about it. But I mean, I can see how that would be a control thing, you know, like a dominance thing. I, I'm not Trying quite to be sure. Open, you know, that they're afraid to let someone touch them and make them feel good because oh then they have control over me so i need to dictate you touch me here like this like this it's like they're have you seen this in practice i yes i have I, right. i've seen that and i work with couples um with different touching exercise and i send them home uh, and once a little bit in the office um but i i see that that they don't even the way they communicate mm -hmm. they don't want to listen they don't want to open up and they fight and they fight and I work, you know, just easing them down, easing them into the safety. And then after they start doing it, they just flush, you know, with tears. Right, and right. open up because they're letting go. It's yeah. scary for them, but at the same time, it feels good in trying to ensure that sense of safety and it's okay that you feel what you feel. And even, you know, with massage, mm. um, it, it's huge. It's the same type of aspect. I want you to be okay feeling good and you know being able to understand that you don't have to be in control and even in a this might be off topic but no, go for about it. A, a dom, you know the dom sub role yep. <laughs> yeah and i i tell people the people that are subs are more sexually confident more sexually mm -hmm. aware more confident within themselves more insightful in themselves than you would ever imagine. I totally agree with this. I you mean, it's, be? well, because you need to be. To be yeah, people, exactly. You know? And people don't get that. I'll, I'll never allow this. I'll never, you know, whatever. I said, you're right, because you can't, you're not confident enough to allow yourself to be free, to be able to relax enough to, uh, to enjoy and experience and accept that mm -hmm. pleasure. And it's not a, you know, a dom to where it's, controlling brutal it, it, you know it's not or humiliating i mean the, i guess not even to that level right but there in, are, that's another topic <laughs> sure it's very interesting i find it fascinating <laughs> going back to the crying section though uh the crying part and letting go i have a theory which i'd like to explore more on the notion that muscles actually store emotions have you ever thought about that for many, many years, Dennis, many years, I, I agree with that. I find there is a, there was a phenomenon um, that first come out in America. You've heard of fibromyalgia? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Years ago, when it first came out, and there was a big argument, we're, I'm talking you know, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. where a lot of people with fibromyalgia, they were, oh, it's a thing, it's not a thing. It was a big debate over here. And it was ironic, um, people that had fibromyalgia or that type of aspect, 
95%, um, most of the people were women to begin with. 95% of them, and this, I can't speak, this is not a scientific study, whatever, but 95% sure. of them were sexually abused, yeah. raped, mm. grew up in a horrific environment, physically abused, abusive relationships. And I tell yeah. people, when you're, you're, we talked about it, when you're tense all the time, when mm -hmm. you're like working out or lifting, or if you're tense all the time, what does that do with your nerve endings? They pop, your muscles sore and they pop. So when you're living that life and you're stressed and all that all the time, what does that do? Oh my God. I mean, all the time, me? elevated cortisol levels all the time, feeling on edge yes. all the time. You can't sleep. And it's just vicious cycle. I think like even just jaw issues, just clenching right here. I, you know, uh, what do they, TMJ? I think TMJ. They it. Yeah, it's exactly what they call it. Mm. And I, I love, uh, you know, that's where people do not understand the benefits of massage. And if you can help your couples and help even individuals, and that's where a lot of people, you know, they don't understand the benefits of what you do. Or even it's just touch, a, even just touching, a, like just finding relaxation, oh God, allowing yourself to let go, you know? Yes. Yeah. And I, I love it. That's why, you know, I give you a lot of credit, a lot of props for all the work you do. <laughs> and people don't understand the depths of it. And I love doing this with you because it, a lot of uh, massage therapists, they don't go into the soulfulness of it like you do. Well, I think I, it's, I think I'm different to a lot of yeah, massage um, therapists. And it's a right? great thing. And your your energy, well, you know, we talked. About oh no, it. your think, energy is phenomenal. You know, <laughs> thanks. It really is. But I think I think melt is different. You know, as in like some massage therapists are there to massage muscles and not deal with like and let's go into the scientific stuff, which I love. Like right. I'm a data guy. I'm a science guy, big time. Sure. I fell into couples massage and now I'm into the psychological part of it. You know, um, I like like with melt, uh, if you look at my videos and the way I speak, I'm into the artful of massage, you know, of the rhythm of things. But I think uh, it's nice to have different sp perspective of massage therapists out there. I just don't think like I feel alone in this space. There's no one else that's teaching couples how to massage at the scale that I'm doing or with the purpose that I'm doing, you know, and like, you know what? And that's where maybe you can, you know, we talk about bit, my business sucks. So, I mean, I'm <laughs> busy, but I'm not a business person. There we go. Right. right? I, I'm, yeah. I'm flattered. I'm swamped. I'm busy all over the place, but, um, I, I suck at business. Okay. My main focus, <laughs> my main focus is helping people. Sure. Yes, absolutely. It's always been my passion. My that's why I do this, and I, I love it that you can even expand on this. And you know, with other energy healers, or even you know, center on the massage therapist that you can integrate, and it would just yeah. make them so much. It would make them so much better. I think I just I want to make the world better. I think there's something in couples massage that yeah that yeah. is good for couples. The world needs this, and couples should get their hands on each other because it's bloody good for you, you yes, know? It is phenomenal. And that, yeah, so. Phenomenal. Mm. And what, where can, you mention, I want you to, if you can, before sure. we say goodbye, good night. Well, it's good night here. It's noon over there. But It's to, lunch now. <laughs> <laughs> where is your YouTube channel? Yeah, you it's just my name. Name? name. Dennis Merkis. And can you spell that for everybody? Uh, Dennis with one N, uh, not the American way. I yeah uh, yes. Right and uh, Merkis. Yeah. I don't know. That's it's all good. Two N's fine. No worries. Uh, my parents couldn't afford the other N, so <laughs> I only got one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then last name is Merkis. M E R K A S. Merkis. Terrific. So it says Dennis Merkis on YouTube. You know, Greg, the easiest way to find me is just. Google Dennis Couples Massage. And, and I love it. And it's all me. The links I have here is couplesmassagecourses.com. Mm -hmm. And also on Instagram, you're at melt, M E L T, like you just melt. I melt love, it. I, oh man, I love that. 
Melk Couples Massage. They're all one word. So it's Instagram is Melk Couples Massage. And that check out Dennis. Check out his courses. Um, I don't have to tell you his energy. I love his. Um, he's humble, humility. Just I love his soulfulness and his genuineness. And it's phenomenal. It's great. Thanks, so, man. Uh, no, I appreciate you being on. And please check out Dennis and all. I have his stuff on my Facebook, on YouTube, um, Instagram, Twitter, all over the place for you to find him. And uh, please, please check him out and do yourself a favor. Do your relationship a favor. Start integrating couples massage. And you're going to see, uh, it's funny how the, the physical touch and massaging each other, and we talked about this at the beginning, how much it will also invigorate and ignite um, the emotional oh, entity, man. the emotional so. connection within couples. And I, I love it. And Dennis, I give you a lot of props for what you do and your just your, your energy and your philosophy is phenomenal. Bro, your energy is phenomenal. I mean, there's a whole reason why I wanted to come meet you. <laughs> I'm immature. I tell people that's why people think I'm a lot younger than I am. I am because I'm immature. <laughs> Don't <laughs> stop it. Mate. Don't stop it. Keep that up. Well, thank you so much. And uh, as always, people can check me out the art of relationships.org. Everybody have a good night or good day if you're in other parts of the world. You said it well. Good day. <laughs> Bye-bye. Good day. <laughs>